On tonight's breaking bond, a 20 year old man is now free from jail on multiple bonds, now accused of killing a 25 year old man in front of his parents. It happened at the family's southeast side car lot. That's where we find Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live now with more. Yeah, Anthony, last Monday, 20 year old Malcolm Lewis came to this family owned car lot at Fuqua and Seafort to buy a vehicle. Instead, police say he committed a murder. 25 year old Daniel Abdomalik's murder was witnessed by. <laughs> He's probably from Afghanistan. He probably escaped the war there. Jesus Christ, man. You only get this here, man. You only get this here. The war report, man. The nightly. Every night. The nightly war report, man. My God. The killing. Like, this is this is brutal killing, man. That POCs, man. Even though it's ninety percent sons, we just did a story on Brito, so I guess that makes it POCs now. Twenty-five-year-old Daniel Abdomalik's murder was witnessed by his parents. My parents are in shambles. Every morning they wake up with the shock of their son being missing. They keep screaming, my son is gone, my son is gone. How am I going to live? He's our backbone and our right hand. What are we going to do without him? Daniel was murdered on Monday, October 16th. Police say 20-year-old Malcolm Lewis went to the family-owned car lot on Fuqua at Seaf... Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And this guy's a career criminal. Since this is breaking bond... This guy's out on bond for another crime What when he killed this guy. A 20-year-old Malcolm Lewis went to the family-owned car lot on Fuqua at Seaford with a friend. They knocked down my father. After knocking down my father, uh, my brother obviously was defensive, trying to get them to back off. That's when police say Lewis shot the couple's only son, to death. I don't even know how I'm standing here in front of you right now. Last year, Lewis got probation in the 177th District Court. A few months later, Lewis was charged with aggravated robbery. That led to a motion to revoke his probation. But instead of acting on that motion, 177th Judge Robert Johnson set Lewis's bond at just 40 grand. Now, how do you give a bond to someone who's on probation, who's charged with robbery? who you're trying to get that probation revoked. If the court would have acted on the motion and revoked Lewis's bond, Daniel would be alive today. Now you got a 25 year old that basically paid the price for those decisions because he lost his life. Daniel died in his mother's arms. I can't fathom how she feels and the trauma and the stress that's gonna be related to our family for the rest of, the, of our lives. Malcolm is in jail with no bond set. He goes back to court on November 30th. The search for his alleged accomplice continues. Reporting live from the southeast side, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News. Jesus Christ. Fuck. Are you really? What did I say? Did y'all die? Everything on recording? What did I say? Well, combative during court and accused of participating in a violent crime spree that targeted an Uber driver, door dasher, and several people he met on dating apps. Warren Johnson's in jail tonight, facing multiple charges. ABC 13 reporter Jessica Willie with the details for us downtown tonight. Jessica.